Yeah, we 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 led this segment off with there's probably not two you know hotter names in the the running back market right now than than uh, Alex Collins, who we just hit on for a while. Yeah, so if um, you're listening to us on YouTube, go check out that Alex Collins clip. Absolutely. But now we're going to get into some Kenyon Drake and, and find some value in him and uh, compare some players. Yeah, before we do that, let's get this contract thing out of the way. They've got Damian Williams there, who's played fairly well after J.J. left. He's been hurt. but Battling an injury here. But he's a free agent after this year, yeah. so he's out of there. Most likely. I wouldn't see why they were bringing him back. Mostly likely, unless they want to sign him on the low and then not draft some backs. They'll probably draft some backs, but who cares? Right now, it's, it's the Kenyon Drake show. Right, and with, with the, you know, there's most likely not another guy behind him at this particular moment, which maybe makes me lean a little bit toward, more towards Drake and this Alex Collins kind of discussion. discussion here, um, just because there's it's a lot less murky over there sure um so let's let's see uh we started alex collins at, at kind of a mid-second everybody in on drake for a mid-second right now yes give me him all right two 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 one give me drake sure all right so 112 was where big code drew the line last time you, is that line still in the sand for you at 112 i could probably squeeze Ooh. I could I could let go of the one twelve for Drake, and probably go of one eleven as well. I'll call I'll break the line at one ten. Um, that's that's not bad for me, because I'm gonna be the guy trying to sell Drake. Sure. And and what I would what I would really like to do is is trade the one twelve for Drake, and then add Drake with something else and move up into the first round. That's my plan. Go All right. go to the front. Get so to you're the front. In the same sentiments uh, on Alex Collins that. Y- you know, if you had him, you would definitely sell him if somebody offered you a one twelve. Sure, yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm trying to cash out a Drake at the and, and it, for a first rounder, just like I said about Alex Collins. Maybe I would try to play a little harder um, for that mid mid first if I could get it mid to late. You know, seven eight nine if I could get there. Um, I I like obviously you take the upside play for Drake's catches and and just let the mind go wild for a little bit with PPR points. Cause that's what we do. Mm-hmm. And you know, I, I, but I've, I've again, like I said earlier, I'm big on the, the late round, the late season push. Some things happen. Somebody gets hurt. All of a sudden here's another running back. And that's why I'm, you know, my rosters are full of running backs on the bench, just waiting for this type of scenario. And Kenyon Drake's doing exactly, exactly what you, what you're looking what for. You're looking for. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly what you're looking for. So Jay Wayne, you're buying on one twelve, right? And are I'll you, buy. Are you selling on one twelve, or you want a little more? Mm. Yeah, I mean, I probably if I'm gonna buy with the one twelve, I'm not gonna sell for the one twelve. I guess, right? You can't have it both ways. Well, I mean, it's the Can same way I felt about Alex Collins. I mean, I would probably sit tight on both, but you know, if I had the one twelve, I would give it up. If and but I probably wouldn't sell for for the one twelve. Right. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that's fair. So let's go. One. So I'm the opposite of you guys in that 112, 110 area. I'm trying to get rid of it and take. I'm trying to get rid of the player, the back, and take the pick. Yeah, I'm cash right. it in while I can. And I want the player. So how about how about like one one eleven one one ten? We drew the line on Collins at a at a one nine. Once yeah. we went into single digits, I think we both backed off a little. You were a little more into it. Yeah, I mean, I I thought a lot about. Collins versus Drake because I knew we were going to talk about those guys and it just kind of comes up like well I wonder which one between the two I like better and from a pure running back standpoint I think I like Alex Collins more because that's just kind of what you're looking for in a pure first second down running back right Mm -hmm. and then he's showing flashes his third down capability Uh, but it is a little more murkier over there there's there's not this the, the guy behind him isn't out of there next year right um so, I mean, Drake's just a different back. He he, Alex Collins is mauling dudes over, and and other guys like can't touch Kenyon Drake. Like he had, they had him dead to rights in the backfield against like New first England, play. and he just juked the dude out of his shorts. Like he literally looked like a human joystick out there. Yeah, it looked awesome. And then you throw in this passing game ability, um, in which I know the, de- the 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 New England defense isn't great, but like, damn, they got clowned. Like they were like Meek Mills. And Drake, like Drake clown them boys <laughs> on the mics. Um, so I I guess I guess I'd probably have to give up 
I, I'd have to give up 111 and probably 110. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'd give up 111 and 110. Big Co? I, I, yeah, I said I would stop at 110. Uh, Oh, okay. You know, I've, I've yeah, and I, and I'm yeah, I'm thinking that uh, one one more big week out of Drake and and you know s- more stock movement there. Yeah, yeah, more value like, movement there. He's exploded over these last two weeks. Just 48 carries for 234 rushing yards. He's caught eight of 11 targets for another 100 receiving yards. Yeah, like that spin move he gave Chung was just silly. Right. Yeah. Um, he can line up pretty much wherever. Like that's the one. That's the thing is his receiving ability. Like, he's good out of the backfield. He can run routes out of the backfield. They'll throw him screens. He was out wide a fair amount. Like, the first catch he had was, like, a a quick slant. Mm -hmm. And he caught that first down. Maybe it was, was like, eight yards. The second one, he's, like, running a go route. Yeah, yeah. And he's behind the defense. And he secured the catch. Tripped tripped over his own feet then afterwards. Yeah, but... But he made the catch. Good catch. So a dude that can line up out wide and go... As a running back, and yeah. then make people miss in the backfield. Well, yeah, and you get you get that Gase offense, which is pretty creative of, of creating the mismatch. And he knows he had a linebacker out there most of the time, so they were targeting sure. targeting Drake. But you he's know, just awesome in space. Like he's he's played in the return game. Like he took one to the house versus Clemson in the national championship. About broke my heart. <laughs> so, dude, the dude that can run it between the tackles and make guys miss in the backfield, but is also so dirty in space, they'll put him in the return game. Not that I want him in the return game per se, but I right. like that ability. Yeah. Well, I think I lean. I, I would probably go one up to one ten, and, and then probably stop. Even though I said I lean a little more towards Drake than than Collins. I don't know if I can quite go one nine for whatever stupid reason yeah. in my mind. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. You see, you've seen you know more kind of I guess continuity out of the box score out of uh, Alex Collins for longer th- than you have out of Drake. Uh, but like you said, it's a little less murky. I, I like the skill set that he's involved. I like the offense. That the potential that could, you know, his involvement in that offense and the way Gay draws it up X's and O's wise. And they obviously like him. I mean, they shipped Jay Ajayi yeah. out of town. They wanted to see what they had, and it's, and it's, it's you know, it's gone Working. well for them. And then over the last four weeks, PFF has ranked him as the third most elusive, elusive back yeah. in the game, and he's player profilers charted him with 25 evaded tackles in the last two weeks. So you can't be on much more of a heater than this. Right. Watching the Denver game like two weeks ago, it wasn't all like gravy and roses. It wasn't as good as, like, against the Pats. But, I mean, he was seeing more resistance from that Denver defense, obviously. But he kept grinding, and then all of a sudden he makes two dudes Pop miss off. to break free and then outruns another two guys with this four four five speed. And, he, and he's got the touchdown, just like that your week's made. Yeah, And right. he's got this PPR floor, so yeah. I, I'm, I'm in. Me and too. Me too. As we get more into these rookies and I have a better feel about what I think th- they're, they're about – I could I could see myself going higher in the first round to get yeah. either of these guys. So, yeah, that's fair. But for now, not knowing the unknown is a little always always. Uh, right, and we we kind of talked about it in that Collins conversation about how you know you you got this guy who you didn't pay much for, and now right. you're, you're cashing out on value, which is you know you can. But you, you probably know. have rostered. I mean, I guess maybe not in the in the in the. 16 roster uh the 20 man ffpc ffpc leagues but a a a bigger dynasty drake's already on someone's team and has been coming out of college agreed well let's let's get into some little player comparison uh and you know seeing where you kind of where he falls for you we started with tevin coleman last time basically let's start with tevin coleman again to get this conversation going Mm -hmm. uh who 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 wants to go first who wants the floor first on tevin tevin coleman tevin coleman i could day trade I you could, could day trade. I could. I could. <laughs> I could day trade Drake. Term. I could day trade Drake. I, especially if you if you gave me one more week of Drake's running and catching. He's kind of like Tevin Coleman. It yeah. It, it's it's gonna be tough to cap that value to find where that thing's gonna hit a resistance marker if he goes and and plays well the next couple of weeks with no back in front of him, injuries all around him. Uh, like you said, it's a you know good offense for a back that's versatile. My thing is just. Uh, this end of the season surge from a uh, the next coming of David Johnson. Like I'll take that. Anybody the next coming of David Johnson's getting traded off my team for the next five years in a row. I'm cashing out. I had I had Ty Montgomery on one of my teams last year. No, actually I traded him. Somebody 
offered me one of those accept automatically trades mm -hmm. in, in one of my leagues in the FFPC. I got some ridiculously stupid offer and I just wake up one morning and all of a sudden, uh, you know, there he is, Tom Montgomery sitting there for hardly anything in my inbox and I'm like, accept. Yeah. And then first couple of weeks of the season, there's some strong PPR value there for a running back and Tom Montgomery has got all this, you know, hoorah going around and i could have traded him and really moved up the draft now you got it, holder's remorse uh, yeah holder's remorse every time and i t and i told you that i, I don't was, know what that's like <laughs> uh, i'm 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 gonna move these backs and and work my way right. up and you know what you do if you have holder's remorse you just keep holding <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the only holding. option you have because <laughs> you, you're your your value has plummeted and you yeah. got rawls and 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 you got hill on your bench and you got uh Paul Perkins and you got sure. uh keep it going. Uh, what's who do we, Trent Richardson and you know Eddie Lacy? Yeah, sure. Had all those sure. cats. Yeah, and then the, now they're worthless. All of them worthless. Worthless. All right. So I'm not gonna ride that. I'm not gonna ride down the uh, the roller coaster. I haven't gotten go caught holding any of those dudes, so I don't have that same like holding. Those guys uh, will. The, it'll it'll hurt you. I wasn't tainted by Jeremy Hill the way you, you were, Big Co. So I'm not. I don't have this stigma about. This fear of holding and All this right. need for well, this, this value spike. Big Co just talked about Ty Montgomery. You had Ty Montgomery. The value spiked. It's back down. We told probably you to sell some. and you didn't. You and didn't where sell. are you now? And Strong you, holding, right. baby. So, there, what no, there but you Ty are. Montgomery. It's the perfect example. Or Kenyon you, Drake. It happened there for you. What do you want to do? Man. Ty Montgomery or Kenyon Drake? What I want to do is is take Ty Montgomery and just hold that thing. But would you take a would you take one twelve for Ty Montgomery right now? Would I take one twelve four time on? You Henry? absolutely would. Yeah, don't even pretend. So that's the that's the exactly well, how it's going to work you, out. Ah uh, man, you would. The dude has looked you know so why? awesome. Just because he got freaking hurt, I'm not about ready to bail. Like this is this we hate on people. Yeah, but for he, this recency but bias. It's not of, that he this got guy hurt. got hurt, so he's bad at football. It's that's not that he not got the hurt. Case. It's not that he got hurt. He got hurt, and then this dude came in and he looked awesome and then that dude got hurt and another dude came in and he looks awesome too yeah but aaron Rodgers was actually throwing the ball to time montgomery yeah well he hadn't had a chance to throw it to the other guys really yeah it's true but i'm just a saying it, Jones, it, it, it it happens so fast in a blink of an eye you can have a team that only has one good running back and all of a sudden they got three or you got a team you got you got a guy on your fantasy team who's freaking awesome and you're like i'm so glad this dude's on my team and then eight months later you're like golly i wish yeah. i sold him high you had five running backs at the end of one season and then halfway through the next season you got one you're looking and around the for the same a, guys because yeah. you didn't get rid of any of them yeah you're looking around for somebody to stick in your rb2 spot you're trading for frank gore again his last year of his career i mean I'm just like I'm. I'm done getting burned on the no no cash outs, and I cashed out. So I don't feel so that way. So then you, so Kenyon Drake or Ty Montgomery? I mean, I guess I'd have to take this. I guess I'd have to get Kenyon Drake. <gasps> yeah, the the value right now is high, and the potential for for moving forward is it looks a little better right now than what but Ty I'm Montgomery. I'm definitely does. not like mad that I didn't sell Ty Montgomery high. I'm maybe a little upset I didn't sell Aaron Aaron Jones super high, but. It happens. You wouldn't have got what you would have gotten for Ty Montgomery selling high, but well, you hear some. I mean, Big Co came on the mics and crown Aaron Jones. I love. Aaron I could have gotten probably a lot for Aaron Jones after that first couple of weeks he burst onto the scene. I tried to move him and redraft didn't couldn't get anything. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's let's keep this train mo well, moving. So you guys are both definitely taking Drake over yeah. Ty Montgomery. Okay. Absolutely. And then, I mean, I like Ty Montgomery, but I think he's going to be a really good receiver uh, for the Packers out of the backfield. Uh, but. We digress here. <laughs> C.J. Anderson or Kenyon Drake? Because yeah, I feel like you were kind of you. What was your back to Tevin Coleman? I don't know if you ever gave a definitive answer. So like you're I was saying, I could day trade because I right now with Freeman in front of him, Tevin Coleman's got this cap, and I, there's just nothing you can do about it because obviously Freeman had the concussion, but Freeman's been a beast. And right now, Kenyon Drake, it's a it's a it's a raging river going downhill. What can you do with it? it? Right now, he is the next David Johnson, and those are the kind of guys that you got to take advantage of. So then C.J. Anderson's, and an, you're taking Drake over C.J. And the Anderson. reason I say that, I'm taking Drake over C.J. Anderson. And the reason I say that is because if you look at the DLF Dynasty running back rankings for next year, you got Bell, Ezekiel Elliott, David Johnson, Todd Gurley, and you look over at the average of the rankers, and you're like, you're, there's your one, your two, your two, your three, and then it skips to six, and it skips to eight, and it kind of it just it's there's a and there's an elite couple of running backs. Mm -hmm. Todd Gurley reestablished himself with an emerging offense. There's a couple of young cats down there: Fournette, Kareem Hunt, Kamara, Gordon, Dalvin Cook. Cook yeah. Just uh, just a whole slew of new youth sure. down there. 22, 22, 21 years old guys, and it's like who's going to be 
And now it, then Where it's all these churn? guys from Tevin Coleman exactly. to Crowell to Amir to, exactly. you Let know, me ca- I think yep. Carlos Hyde has, I, in my opinion, elevated him into that sure. bottom end of at least the elite category. Yeah. Um, so he's kind of out of that conversation, but he, those were the kind of guys you were getting. That was the next tier of running backs that you could possibly take. And I think Collins and Drake are both in that realm right now, which is why we're having this discussion. Um, so the next couple of guys I'm going to bring up, like Marlon Mack, Chris Thompson, and Theo Riddick. I mean, I think I'm taking Kenyon Drake over all those guys. But what do you what do you think? What yeah, are you doing even. with C.J. Anderson? I, I think I got to go Kenyon Drake over well, yeah. him right now because the va- like the the community hates yeah. C.J. Anderson. I'll buy C.J. Anderson for super cheap. Exactly. From yeah. you. Exactly. Uh, but it's not his fault. fault. Right. I don't know what the hell's right. going on with these Broncos. But so I'll take Kenyon Drake all day long. But over those three guys, like Chris Thompson was really hot. Got got a little injured. I would have met as everybody at this table taking Kenyon Drake right now over Chris Thompson. Like yeah. Chris Thompson can't can't get. Case. The amount of carries that mm-hmm. this guy's getting. And, and he's and, 27, and he's super injury prone. It's been right. his MO his whole career, and he was blowing up this year. But you were He's great. You were telling people at the beginning of the season or in the offseason to go buy Chris Thompson because he's super cheap, and then he exploded, and then you were like, I think I'd probably sell Chris Thompson now. Right. I think that's the game that we're trying to play here Yeah. Mm-hmm. for the most part. And this is what Drake's kind of doing right now, and he's kind of exploding. So it's kind of figuring out whether or not you want to buy or sell and where that kind of value is. So Amir, we went with Amir on the on the Collins thing. I think we all went basically with Yeah, I think we all agreed Collins. that Amir Abdul has got us pretty ticked off at the moment and we're going to we're going to take the the new shiny object and and I'll take uh I'll take Kenyon Drake. All right. So let's let's go let's go with one one more uh kind of young guy Dante Foreman. Uh you know, had a had the the, the Stink that's left on Foreman was a huge run and then an injury. So everyone kind of saw that run and saw him breaking out, and everyone just wanted to give him that backfield over Lamar Miller, but he wouldn't surrender. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. So so Foreman or uh, Kenyon Drake here? I think it's pretty easy. Yeah, I don't think you could take a guy who just ruptured his Achilles. Got to okay. go Drake. I'm, I'm 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 with all you guys. Okay. Um, we want to go. We want to go with uh one one guy who's kind of maybe a little higher up here. Just to cap this off with running back wise, Lamar Miller. Or I'll Ken stick Yandere. with Lamar. I'll stick with Lamar in this Deshaun Watson offense. He can catch, he can run the ball. He's not he's not a flash in the pan. He's sustained success throughout like his it. career. I like it. I'll I take like it. Lamar. All right. I like it. You guys got some wide receivers to uh compare him to here? We, we we did that a little bit with Collins. What do you what do you guys got over there? What about your boy Sterling Shepard? Ooh, or Kenyon Drake, give me Sterling. Yeah. Yep. Just like that. I like Sterling too, but I'll take Drake. I like Sterling as well, but I think I'll have to take Drake. Yeah, that, I mean that's fair. Yeah. I, I can't I can't hate Don't know him. who this quarterback's going to be. Don't sure. know w- even if I just don't know what's going on with the Giants. They are a stable organization. I love what Sterling Shepard's been doing. He's been playing banged up. But uh, I got to take the shiny new object. Uh, uh, you know what? I'll, I'm going to waffle. Gonna flop? I'll, go, I'll go with you. I'm going to flip flop. We'll ride, we'll ride that train together. Katie Heron wore army pants and flip flops, so I wore army pants and flip flops. <laughs> How about Marvin Jones? Ooh, what are, what are you go for Big Co. Marvin. Marvin? Oh, yeah. I'll take Kenyon. I think I want Kenyon Drake, too. I think you should sell Marvin at this high peak. I'm I'm with you. Oh, I think, I think we kind of talked about Kenny Dow- Galladay and the Collins thing, and I think Galladay definitely can is going to end up cramping some of Marvin Jones's style here, and I, I would I would probably get out from under the Marvin Jones right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got no problem if you want to cash out of Marvin Jones for real high. I mean, he's gone and staked himself a claim and 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 put up some high end points for you this year. I just. The, look at what the Lions, I told you guys, I told you they can't run the ball. They said they were going to run they the tried, ball. They tried, and then the they offensive did. line was terrible. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Back to the air, back to 35, 40 passes a game, and Marvin Jones, Golden back to Tate. Barely making the playoffs. There's plenty, there's plenty <laughs> of passes and catches to go around, and with Golden Tate, you can't really cover him per se, and so you have to kind of pay attention to what's going on, and Marvin Jones – and and Stafford have a really really good timing on that just just streak down the sidelines on the edge of the paint barely almost stepping out of bounds and he just <laughs> drops it in the bucket and Marvin Jones slides out of bounds and never gets hit uh, that's just what they do and he they're good at it and I think there's yep. plenty of passes to stay for Marvin Jones obviously injury could be a 
uh, you know, it's, it's an int- it's a possibility for anybody. And guys that have have been getting nicked up tend to be the ones that keep on getting nicked up. And yeah, Jones could have a a drop off. So I got no problems cashing out of Marvin Jones. I just feel like a cash out of Marvin Jones right now needs to be substantial cash. All right. So what, let's do one more. A guy who I know Big Cove that never never will give any any respect to Will Fuller. What? Or Why can't I give respect or Kenyon to Will Drake? Fuller? Oh, you're a, you're a Will Fuller hater. I am not a Will you Fuller are. hater. I was a Will. I was a situation hater. Yeah. Didn't see any way for him to get the ball. Well, he's got the shit out of it. <laughs> Sean Watson was there. <laughs> he got it and got it a lot. I'll take Will Fuller. Big Co. Give me Kenyon Drake. Drake. I think I like Fuller and and, Deshaun and Watson. Watson. Yeah, they the boys were getting making Golly, magic. Yeah, were making magic out there. That was crazy. Yeah. I'll take that. Absolutely. Let me get that. All right. Well, I mean, this was a was a good exercise to kind of, you know, feel where we were on what, all these guys. And obviously, situationally, and, and all this could change on Sunday, after the draft, all that. But it's it's fun to have this conversation now and, and kind sure. of feel and then look back on this in the middle of May or April. And, you know, well, you said this. Yeah. Then. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, back and then you're gonna be looking for that first round pick you passed up too. I promise <laughs> yeah. you that. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs>